Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Ramon at Home. I'm so excited you're here today because in this video, I'm going to share with you some Christmas decorating and DIY ideas for Christmas 2023. This compilation is going to start our Christmas in July series, and I cannot wait for you guys to see all of the beautiful DIYs for Christmas and decorating ideas that I really think you're going to enjoy. So if you are interested in some Christmas in July 2023, Please stay tuned. Don't forget to like this video and share with your friends because that really helps the channel. It is free. You want to invite them to come and join us this Christmas 2023 season so they also can be inspired. If you already subscribed, don't forget to turn the notification bell on because you will not want to miss any of the Christmas 2023 DIY ideas and decorating ideas for this year. Let me tell you right now, I am somewhere at the Atlanta market getting inspired and bringing you brand new Christmas decoration ideas and DIY wise straight from market so you will not want to miss this christmas in july series if you've been following the channel you know that one of my favorite things to do is to decorate a christmas tree and so we're going to start this compilation with a gorgeous christmas tree diy for 2023 and keep in mind that all of these projects there will be linked down below in their entirety so if you want to watch the whole process you can go back in the description box below and check them out all right so let's get started All right, so I'm gonna do a two loop and then I'm going to grab my wire. I'm gonna swirl around and then I'm gonna put one right here when I have only one. So now I'm gonna do a three loop bow and look how gorgeous that is. It just adds a bow, a bigger bow to that area. And then instead of going down that way, of course, I am going to flip it around to get all that glitter. And then I'm going to go this way. So I'm gonna do another big loop right here so basically you're just filling in all of those spots that you don't have ribbon in and you're basically doing bow right here bow right here bow right here and then i'm going to do another cute little soup right here i'm going to grab my scissors you know i need me like a tool belt where i can put all my all my tools like that let's see i'm going to do one right here to kind of fill in and go down so you guys kind of get the idea. I'm going to finish the ribbon, this type of ribbon, and I'll be right back with you. So stay tuned. Okay, so I have finished with the first two ribbons. And what I'm going to do now to add some texture, I'm going to bring a one and a half inch ribbon. And what I'm going to do, because it's so small, you can add dovetail at one and a half. What I'm going to do is, I'm just basically gonna give it a little tail like this. And then what I want to do is just make bigger bows. So I'm going to do maybe a three loop bow, and then I'm gonna grab a wire and I'm gonna attach all of this together. And so basically I just wanna put some cute little bows in between the ones that we have on the tree and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So right here we have a two bow. So now I just wanna go ahead and add this cute little bow. And this is more like an ornament uh, than bow laying. So what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and give it the same loop right here. And see how it just adds a little bit more texture because now you have a wider and medium and now a really thin ribbon. And with this one, you don't need really a lot. So you basically just cut on an angle. You wanna leave your tails. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing up on the top. So I'm gonna do a three so it looks fuller. And this ribbon is so pretty, it, it almost feels like paper, but it's made out of some sort of silk. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach all the way to the top and see how it's a three loop bow with a little tail. So now I'm gonna open right here and I'm gonna bring this guy up to the top and you fluff it. And so now you have this ribbon what you want to do is you want to go ahead and give it some loops like this. All right, so the next step is going to be to add some of these flocked picks to kind of blend in the white on the ribbon with the green of the tree. And remember, I like to start on the bottom. And what I like to do is I just like to go ahead and um, kind of give it a twist with the bristle. If you're going to put your tree where you have kids or grandkids. And like I said, I'm going to start from the bottom and then I'm going to move up. So I'm gonna go ahead and find spots and look how it's like 
like what I like to call the flyaways and the flower arrangement, it really is giving it life. I'm gonna go ahead and put one right here. So that's five. Let me go ahead and add one right here. And when you insert your pick, make sure that you go ahead and insert like this. So it gives it some fly, so it gives it some texture. And there's going to be another pick that I'm going to add towards the end. So now I'm gonna get my ornaments ready and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have all of my ornaments right here and I just wanna show you how you do not need a whole bunch of ornaments to make your Christmas tree look gorgeous. All you need is a few larger ornaments like this one, your wire. And what I'm going to do now that you have all the ribbon in these picks, you want to strategically start placing these ornaments and just give it a little twist with a wire like this. That's why it's so important to have all of your wires at the ready so that way your Christmas tree decorating is not taking long, especially if you are out decorating Christmas for clients, you definitely don't wanna take forever because, well, even though they charge you by the hour, you probably have like many jobs to do. And I've been to the spot where I've had like, literally like 12 trees to decorate in one day. And so you don't wanna take a whole bunch of time. Um, and then also your clients are probably looking at you like, well, how long is this gonna take? How much is this gonna cost me? All right, so I'm gonna add this one right here. I'm gonna add all of the red ones and I just had four. So I wanna make sure that I mentioned that they are larger ornaments. So therefore they show more than if you have a whole bunch of little ones, just polka dot it. Remember I told you at the beginning of the season that we were gonna do bigger this year. Well, the reason why is because I really want to show you that you need like four or five ornaments. I'm gonna add this one over on this side to fill in your tree and that will spend a lot of money. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some of these white ones that I love. These are from Shinoda Design Center and they have this iridescence to them. What I want to do now is make sure that I add this ornament somewhere close to where I put the last one because you wanna have clusters or bundles of ornaments close together so they show more. So I'm gonna show you one more time. So I have this one right here. I'm gonna select yet another one of these larger white ones and I'm going to go ahead and put it somewhere close to it. I'm gonna open this right here. And so I'm going to attach, look for a bristle cause you have to put on a bristle so it doesn't come crashing down, especially if they are glass ornaments. So basically just like that. So I wanna have all of these ornaments close together. Okay, so now that you have all of your ravens and all of your ornaments, in your tree, what you want to do is grab a flyaway pick, and these are from Hobby Lobby. They are also about two dollars a piece, and they're kind of short. But look what this is going to do. So I'm gonna grab where the ornaments are, and I'm just gonna put this pick right here, and I'm gonna let it fly out. When you insert a flyaway pick like this, just make sure that you do it sideways, so that way it really sticks out on your tree. Okay, so just when you think you're done, you might wanna go ahead and put some of these poinsettias. They are from Hobby Lobby. How gorgeous are these? They're made out of a velvet material. It looks like a Santa coat. So I'm gonna grab a few spots and look at that. Oh my gosh. That is what really just makes it come alive. And you wanna fluff these guys, make sure that they are really pretty fluffed. And look, at, let me see, let me put one right here. You might wanna look for some spots. They are very prominent. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine petals for $3, you guys. How fun is this? Let me see, I'm gonna add one. Oh, I'm gonna add one right here. And I have a few more to go. Oops, I just dropped one. How gorgeous is this? I think I'm just gonna have to leave it. I cannot take this down. I'm gonna add it right here. What do you guys say, should I leave it up? Leave me a comment down below if this is the theme that I should keep up. Actually, you know what, I should give this to my mom because we have, uh, I have a nephew, she has a grandkid, and I think that he would really enjoy this because it's so colorful. I'm gonna add one right here. I'm gonna add this guy over to the side. And like I said, these are from Hobby Lobby and they're super duper affordable. They were like $3 a piece and they really just changed the look of your tree. As you can see, I'm gonna add this one right here. Over here. Let me drop it. And so what I want to do with that is I'm going to grab these cute little characters that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add 
this guy. I'm gonna let him sit over here. And then I'm gonna grab this ribbon and swirl his little hat so he stands right there. And before I do anything else, let me go ahead and, I took the tag off of one, but I forgot the other one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab the other one, sorry to cross over here, and then I'm gonna put him over here like that. How fun is that? Oh my God, I'm so excited. Ah, I love it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab this garland that came from Shinoda Design Center. And I love it because it has all of the peppermints that we're going to need. So I'm gonna first make sure that he stops swirling around and just swirl him to whatever side he's going. I'm gonna add some ornaments right here to him as if he is holding this garland and he's helping his friend over here. Let's see. Decorate this beautiful Christmas tree. How fun. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Okay, so before we get going with our next Christmas DIY, what I want to talk to you about is that we have a date next week because I'm going to be sharing with you the reveal of one of our Christmas themes for 2023. This year we're doing all brand new Christmas DIYs and themes. So I will be doing in Christmas in July, revealing the themes that we'll be using throughout the Christmas season. So be sure to come back next week so you are the first to know which is going to be the first theme reveal for Christmas 2023. I'm super excited to bring you, like I said earlier, some of the great ideas from market themes, color schemes, patterns, textures, so that we all can have a gorgeous Christmas season 2023. All right, you guys, well, now let's get back to the DIYs for Christmas, and I'm gonna share with you this beautiful Christmas wreath DIY. All right, everyone, so this is where we have our wreath and there's only a few more elements that I'm going to add. And then we're gonna go hang, on, hang it on the window. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some plaid ribbon because the theme for this year's Christmas is basically plaid and we used it with all kinds of uh, fabrics and patterns and it just looks absolutely traditional. It's a traditional Christmas. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna give it uh, probably about a 12, 12 inch tail and remember, we're gonna do single loops. So what I'm going to do is just gonna do a big loop like this. Then I'm gonna give it a twist and then I'm gonna cut right here like this, like that. Now I'm gonna grab one of my wires and I'm going to just give it a big twist. And I'm going to introduce this ribbon right here and I'm going to attach like that. I just want a whole bunch of these one single loop bows because it is the theme for this year. And I love this plaid. It just reminds me of Christmas. And just a touch of it really goes a long way. This year we have it on our pillows. We have it on our, um, where else is it? On our napkins. It's all over the place. And you guys will get to see all of that on our home tour. All right, so once again, I'm just gonna grab my wire and I'm going to introduce between the ornaments to kind of fill in. Just grab a bristle and then split them like that. And look at that, look how simple that is. Super, super um, striking. It really does make a difference, this plaid. And just make sure that you grab a ribbon that has a really good wire, because that really does help to stain. Look how beautiful that is. It just stays right there. You guys, ribbon can make or break your look on your Christmas. If you get very inexpensive ribbon, 
it's not going to hold up its shape like this one right here and I want it to be really ribbony so I'm going to go right here it's gonna push all the way through and find the bristle right there and attach and look look at that so I'm gonna continue going this way and I'll be right back with you I think we just have one last step and then we're gonna hang this on the window so keep watching Okay, so we're done with the ribbon. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna open up some of these beautiful picks that we used on our ball garland as well. These are absolutely fabulous and they're super easy to use. All you have to do is grab a knife and then just cut, not towards you, but make sure that you cut against you until you get rid of all of that paper like that. And then you have individual picks like this. And these ones, we're gonna start fluffing a little bit like this because you get more bang for your buck and if you add it flat like this and so i'm gonna start adding these guys onto the garland like that and look at that that just adds a little extra sparkle on this one the lights hit it is going to be so beautiful and so basically what you want to do is just grab these pegs and introduce like this and these are also going to be all over that room and no rhyme or reason just go ahead and grab at this point you know you can just introduce it's so tight in there I was gonna add more lights, but I don't think I'll be able to, which is fine. Um, I think it has plenty of lights and this is just an accent in the room anyway. So I'm super excited for you guys to see. All right, so I'm gonna continue adding all of these guys right here. Look, that just adds a little bit more. And so I'm gonna finish this real quick and I'll take you guys into the dining room. Keep watching. Are you having as much fun as I am revisiting all of these Christmas DIYs? Well, if you are, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and then also don't forget to share with your friends because that really helps the channel. So if you want to see more content like this, be sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know what is it that you want to see, what type of DIYs or decorating ideas for the Christmas 2023 season. I'm super excited, as I said to you before, to bring you brand new DIYs and I cannot wait to get to work. All right, let's get back to the video. Okay, everyone, so for my coffee table, I decided to make an arrangement of berries, sticks, and greenery because that is very traditional of Christmas. I loved living in the Midwest because you could just go outside and clip some cedar, some hollies, and then just make yourself a bouquet. But because I live in California, in San Diego to be exact, there is no berries, nowhere to be inside well i can go buy them but i'm not going to because i have some fake ones so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a color of greenery and i have this really beautifully dangly cedar that i've had for quite a few years and but any greenery can do if you have a way to get fresh this would be so beautiful with fresh you know when the season gets closer you can just go to where they trim the uh, Christmas trees and you can ask them for some clippings and they'll get them to you. You can make an arrangement like this together. All right, so I'm going to add some greenery and then I'm going to add some sticks because I want it to be tall. Even though it's going to be in my coffee table, I want it to be dramatic because this year we're going for some simplicity, but at the same time, some drama. So I want it to be as tall as possible um, to make a statement on it. So I'm going to clip this one a little bit. I think I don't want it to be so, so tall, but these guys are still kind of fresh. I got this at Shinoda Design Center. They sell some um, f uh, some uh, woods like this. They have all kinds of curly willows and things. So I'm just gonna make sure that I go all the way down. So now that I have those three, I'm going to put more of these cedars and just make them dangle and dance outside of the rim of the container like this. Look at that, how beautiful. So I'm gonna continue to spin around. Remember, it's so important that you spin your bouquet around. So that way it looks natural like this. Let me see, I have one more. So I think it's gonna go to this side. It has a bold spot. So I'm gonna go right here 
like this. Perfect. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in with some of these short berries that I have. I'm going to get this guy a little closer to me so that I can work on it. And I already pre-flaffed all of these guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right here on the outer edge. You want them to sit inside of the greenery. So you want still that greenery to flap because that's what's going to make him look more natural. As I was telling you earlier, I loved going to decorate homes for Christmas, especially when I worked at the flower shops because we always brought fresh flowers into the customers' homes and it was just so beautiful. It really adds that elegance and um, richness to a home, especially during the holidays. I love, 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 love creating fresh garlands outside and especially when it snowed and that snow cut into the garland. It was so beautiful. I miss, I really miss the Midwest sometimes. Don't get me wrong, I like the weather here in San Diego, but you know, fake berries will have to do for this particular project, but they're gonna look just as beautiful, you know, because and, and they're gonna last longer until I get rid of them, basically. All right, so continue to spin around so that way you know where you need to insert some of these beautiful berries and make sure that you pull down some of the greenery so these berries are supported by the greener. Look at that, how beautiful. I feel like I need one right here. I have a few left. So I'm gonna add one more right here, making sure that it's supported by my greenery. And I'm going to add another one probably right here on the top, right about here on this side maybe. Remember what happens on the left happens on the right. So it is the easiest way to remind yourself about balance. Perfect. So I like this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of these taller berries and I only have a few, but you see how this goes to this side. So now I'm going to balance with some taller berries on this side. So I'm going to put one right here. See how it's starting to balance on this side. One right here, another one right here. And then I'm going to add a third one. Remember to work in sets of threes, twos and ones. And I'm going to add this guy right here. It's getting tied in the mouth of the container. And then I'm going to spin around and I'm going to bring these tall berries over to this side. But because I already have this right here, I don't want it to be so hairy. So I'm just going to add one. So I'm going to insert this right here like this. And this little guy that I clipped earlier, you know what? I'm going to use it. I'm just going to bring it in here. Actually, I'm going to put it right here. Like that. Oh my gosh, it didn't go in, you guys. All right, like that. So now this is going to be our coffee table arrangement. I'm gonna install it and show you what it looks like. All right, everyone. So I just wanna show you real quick the end result of this beautiful berry and flat cedar arrangement. As you guys can see, the greenery and the berries look absolutely beautiful with the blue and white pottery. And as you guys also can probably notice is that the pillows and uh, the berries really do complement the bowl garland on the entry table. If you guys have not seen the bowl garland, I do recommend to check it out. And if you like this idea, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Okay, let's recap real quick. Number one, fluff your garland, light your garland. Number two, add your bigger statement ribbons by making bigger loops and add up to three different high uh, colors of ribbons, patterns, and then also widths. Then after that, we're gonna add our flat seated, which is going to really give it girth. And so now I have a whole type of um, ornaments right here that I'm going to add to my garland. And remember, we're gonna start with the bigger ornaments and I'm going to start right here in the corner and just go ahead and put that ornament and attach with your wire. They are pre-wired, I'll show you. I have taken the time to pre-wire all of my ornaments so that way it's going to make my job a lot easier and a lot faster. I come from an industry where we used to go and decorate people's homes and we literally do probably like about four homes a day. Some homes used to have about even five Christmas trees. One had 12 Christmas trees and three fireplaces. So we had to find ways to be faster at decorating and that's just what I like to do. I, especially if I'm getting paid by a customer, I don't like to take their time um, when I can just work super fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring another one right here. And remember what happens on the left happens on the right. 
And so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring another red one up here on the top. Remember when you're working with bigger ornaments like this to make a statement, you wanna cluster them together at least so they are close together so it makes a better statement. As you guys can see, it really shows right here. I'm gonna do the exact same thing over on this side. But you have to go down on your bristle to make sure that that ornament looks like it's hanging from the garland, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab a small one of these and I'm gonna, mm, you know what, no. I'm gonna add a red one. And this one doesn't have a wire, so I lied. Let me make sure that I have one of my wires right here. And I'll show you how quick and easy it really is to do this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just basically put a wire through it. You bend it in half and you give it just one twist. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add this guy right here in the middle. And now what I want to do is I'm gonna add some of these little ornaments over here to the side. How pretty is this? I'm loving the way this is looking. Remember what happens on the right, immediately you have to go to the left and make it happen there. And then I have this red ornament where I put my wires. And I'm going to go ahead and add them to the bottom of the garland so the garland looks finished all throughout and all the way down. So basically over on this side, I'm gonna grab it and see how if you close them together like this, they're gonna make more of an impact and your clients are gonna just be in love with it or your family or whoever you're doing it for. I continue to say your clients because we're in the season right now where we're out decorating people's homes. And uh, so I think of my clients all the time. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna do this right here. Perfect. How beautiful is this, you guys? So now I'm gonna get the little peppermint ready and I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Okay, so I have two large peppermints and four little ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start with the large ones. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna just go ahead and put it right here on the corner, making sure that it really shows. And you can attach it by adding one of your wires, but because it has this long pick, all you have to do is make sure that it goes through the garland and it will stay right on place. It might be a tricky thing to do because now there's so many elements, but look, all you have to do is just make sure that it goes through the garland. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add two little ones right by them. I'm gonna add one right here and then immediately move to the other side and exactly where you put on the other one, you wanna make sure that you put that one. And then I have two more, so I'm gonna add one right here over to this side and look how cute that is. I love it. So I'm gonna add this guy right here, making sure that it goes all the way down and through my garland so it's secure. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring the few, last few elements and I'll be right back. Okay, to fill in, I'm gonna add a few of these picks wherever I see there is like space for them. Look at that, that really just adds something to the garland. And you basically just wanna add them somewhere where they'll be visible, they'll help you fill in on your garland and it just looks a little bit more finished. These were only $1.50 at Hobby Lobby, just so you know. They are super adorable and super affordable, which is to me <laughs> the best combination there can be, adorable and affordable. Okay, so now the last thing I'll add is this, poinsettias. So I'm gonna pick places like right here in between the ornaments to fill in. What happens on the left happens on the right. So I'm gonna add this one right here. And they can go in and out. You don't wanna face them all forward because then they look polka dotted. But as you guys can see, I put one facing forward, one facing up. I'm gonna add one here facing down. And then I'm gonna move over to the other side and look for a place where I can put one facing down, probably right here. And just wanna make sure that those poinsettias are really open so they show. And then, because we have a big cluster right here and a big cluster right here, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and add it right here. And one more right on here, going up. How adorable is this? Now, I did save a few of these candies, and these are just ornaments that I took the stringer off, and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna find places like this right here, and I'm gonna add those peppermint candies because they have so much glitter, and they really catch the light. So basically, I'm just gonna add this right here, like this. Hang on one second, perfect, like that. 
I'm going to add one prior right here to fill in. And I'm going to add one right here to fill in. And another one over on this side. Let's see, I'm going to add it right here. And just like that, you have a beautiful mental garland. There's a few characters I want to add to this garland, so stay tuned. All right, everyone, so the next step is going to be to add our sprays, and I just wanted to show you this gorgeous spray that comes already with two poinsettias, this gorgeous, gorgeous ornament, and a few more accents, and this really beautiful felt um, foliage. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add this guy right here. Remember, this is what I call our money maker. So what you want to do is you wanna go ahead and open up right here, find a way to where you can weave it into your bristles, then grab one of your bristles and just twist it around the stem and that's going to give you a gorgeous focal point right here after that you make sure you fluff all of your bows if you feel like it's not secure enough what i recommend you do is go ahead and grab another bristle from down here and just find a little sprig or uh, part of your spray and just tie it around like this and that makes sure that that's secure right there after you do that we're going to go ahead and fluff our poinsettias make sure that they show and I have other elements that I'm gonna get ready. We're gonna add some ornaments right here. Now I do have another spray right here that I'm going to add going the, other, the opposite way. You know what, let me might as well just add it. So go ahead and fluff all of your elements like this. Then I'm going to add coming this way. Now I'm gonna add it facing down because I want it to stick up because remember this is the focal point right here. So I'm gonna fluff my bow and all of these foliages, all of the ornaments, making sure they point out. And from here on, we're gonna add a whole bunch of ornaments and it's just gonna look so lavish. I'm gonna get those ready all wired and I'll be right back with you, stay tuned. All right, everyone, so we've done the main mule post and it is really absolutely gorgeous, I cannot wait to show you. But on these points right here where we attach the garland to the banister, I went ahead and did a bow uh, of each ribbon and then also I'm gonna add this really cute spray it has some ornaments on it and that's all the touch that this really needs and we're going to add those to every single point so it's going to look really cohesive remember your not only your um, your wreath but your christmas tree and your banister have to have some sort of cohesion and we're going to achieve, achieve that by adding this really cute spray and as you guys can see it has some red ornaments so it adds a lot of dimension to your garland and that's all it really needs be sure to attach it with a bristle which i'm doing on the back then after you're done, just go ahead and fluff your bows again and let that little spray show some of the ornaments. How cute is this? All right, so we are done with the banister and now we're gonna move on to the mantle. We're almost done and I cannot wait to show you.